Hey there, RecTech family, I'm Chef Greg, and today we're gonna to show you how to make the ultimate smoked and glazed spiral slice ham. It couldn't be any easier. We got the RT B380X rolling 325 burning those ultimate blend pellets behind me. Now the spiral hams are already cooked, so we're just looking to add some flavor and heat it up. We're gonna take some mustard here and just kind of rub it all over. This is just gonna act like meat glue when it comes to seasoning and stuff. You could use Dijon, you could use, if you want molasses, you could use honey, any sort of binder you want is gonna be good to go, but kind of get in all the nooks and crannies and crevices. We're gonna hit it with that honey rib rub, that Rossaruski is super delicious. Um, gonna give us a good crust on there. Again, if you wanna spice it up, you can add like a little screaming pig. You could go savory with that garlic honey rub. Honestly, there's no wrong way to do it. And that mustard is just gonna act like seasoning glue. That's all it's gonna do. Now to make our lives easier, I do have this resting on a wire rack, and it's just to make moving the ham a lot easier. You don't have to. Uh, the bone in there, that shank, is gonna hold that, that ham vertical for us. But yeah, super simple. In literally 30 seconds, we rubbed it down, seasoned it up. We got the RTB 3 x preheated for me. All right, about 90 minutes, that ham is gonna be absolutely perfect, but we're gonna go ahead and add a glaze because again, we're taking that ham from here to here all the way to the top. We've got some butter, some Dijon mustard. Some honey. Some brown sugar. and then some of that Rasa Ruskies, but we're gonna engage riot mode here, right? Flip that cat back, we can go ahead and add in some of that Rasa Ruskies. We'll just give it a quick stir. We're gonna go ahead and cook this right alongside that ham and that bullseye for about 30 minutes or so. Again, it just needs to come up to a simmer, and then towards the latter stages of that ham cook, we'll go ahead and start to brush it and glaze it and make it super delicious. Now tell me that ham doesn't look delicious. Again, couldn't be any easier. We did glaze this a couple times. We got some extra glaze on the side, but uh, I'm ready for the table. We'll see you at the Rectech.